Good morning, eighth grade. If you'd please find lesson five, subjects and predicates compound. And at the top of this paper, please put your full name first and last. Next to class, please write the number eight. And for the date, please put September 14. Thank you. We're going to continue our discussion concerning simple subjects and simple predicates, complete subjects, complete predicates, and reviewing prepositional phrases. Today we're going to include the topic which concerns simple subjects and predicates being compound. You will notice here I have highlighted some conjunctions. These are words which are going to combine compound subjects and compound predicates. So in my sentence, I'm going to be looking for several things. Number one, I'm going to be looking to identify any prepositional phrases that are found in the sentence. For example, in the Pacific Northwest. Put parentheses around the prepositional phrases. Put parentheses around in the Pacific Northwest. Underline Oregon once and Washington once. Simple subjects I'm going to underline once. Sometimes I'll have more than one. And that's the point of today's lesson. Some of them will be compound. I'm going to underline lie twice because lie is the simple predicate. And lastly, I'm going to put a line in between Washington and lie because it separates the complete subject from the complete predicate. Once again, I'm going to have a conjunction that is going to combine my compound simple subjects or my compound simple predicates. Second example, many people neither enjoy nor appreciate modern art. As I look in this sentence, I don't have a prepositional phrase. I do have a simple subject. I will underline people once. I will underline enjoy twice and appreciate twice. You'll notice in this particular sentence that I have a conjunction. Later on this year, we're going to talk about words that um, combine sentences that are called conjunctions, and some of them are correlative. That is, there's two words. Neither and nor are those compounds that combine. So I'm going to put a line in between people and neither. Please write these directions below this blue line. Prepositional phrases, I'm going to use parentheses. Put this direction on your page so you have it there for reference. We're going to put a line in between the complete subject and the complete predicate. Again, put this direction on your paper. Also, we're underlining the simple subject once, and we're going to underline the simple predicate twice. We're going to use these directions as we go through the sentences below. If you follow along with me today, your assignment will be complete. Sentence number one, underline apples once, underline pears once, put parentheses around on trees, put a line in between pears and grow. You will notice that that follows these directions that you have written on the top of your page. Sentence number two, one line under workers, two lines under pick, two lines under package, parentheses around for sale. Again, following those directions. Sentence number three, underline joy once, sisters once, underline sang twice, put a line in between sisters and sang, 
and parentheses around for the congregation. It is a prepositional phrase. Four, underline Wes once, Raquel once, showed twice. Put a line in between Raquel and showed. Put parentheses around to the guests. It is a prepositional phrase. Sentence five, underline we once, ate twice, slept twice. Put parentheses around on the bus, prepositional phrase. Put a line in between we and ate. Number six, underline ceiling once, walls once, are twice. Put a line between walls and are. You will notice in this sentence, the ceiling and the walls are the same color. There is no prepositional phrase. Number seven, both Arizona and New Mexico have hot deserts. Underline Arizona once, New Mexico once, have twice, a line between Mexico and have. There is no prepositional phrase. Eight, neighbors once, friends twice. Excuse me, friends once. Sent twice. Of the family, prepositional phrase. Recall last week we said if there was a prepositional phrase in between the subject and the verb, the line goes after the prepositional phrase. In sentence eight, the line goes between family and the sent. Nine, underline red once, blue once, clashes twice, parentheses around with this color. Put a line in between blue and clashes. 10, copper once, iron once, have twice. Put a line in between iron and have. There is not a prepositional phrase. Sentence number 11. Notice that our sentence starts out with a prepositional phrase in 1947. Notice it also ends with a prepositional phrase of France. What is the sentence talking about? Charles de Gaulle and party. Notice that Charles de Gaulle is connected to party. De Gaulle once, party once. Strengthened twice, line between party and strengthened. 12. Many Europeans, Europeans once, both understand twice and use twice the English language. 13. Crocodiles once, alligators once, swim in the water, swim twice, in the water, prepositional phrase, put parentheses around it. Notice the conjunction, but. Alligators swim. Alligators hunt. Hunt twice. And the sentence ends with a prepositional phrase on land. Before we go on, I'd like for you to put a circle around all of the odd numbers. Please circle the number one, three, five, put a circle around seven, nine, the number 11, and 13. 
Great. Go to the second page. On the top of the second page, please put your entire first and last name, class 8, and the date September 14th. Thanks. Number 14, compound, bull weevils, underline once, seek, underline twice, of cotton, prepositional phrase, seek, destroy twice, compound, bull weevils once, seek twice, of cotton, Prepositional phrase, parentheses, destroy twice. Put a line between weevils and seek. 15. Counsel once. Body once. Discusses twice. The sentence ends with a prepositional phrase. Put parentheses around it. 16. Both tennis and badminton require rackets. Underline tennis once. Subject badminton once. Require twice. A line between badminton and require. 17. Compound subject. Underline puppies once. Kittens once. What do puppies and kittens do? A compound predicate as well. Underline play and sleep twice. Parentheses around of the day. The line goes in between kittens and play. 18. Underline scientists once. Perform twice. Research with care. Prepositional phrase. Conduct. Compound. Predicate. Two lines under conduct. With even more care. Prepositional phrase. Number 19. Simple subjects. Crabs. Lobsters. Simple predicate twice. Crawl. Line between lobsters and crawl along the ocean floor, parentheses, prepositional phrase. Number 20, simple subject, farmers, simple predicate, grow, in the summer, prepositional phrase, harvest, two lines, predicate, in the fall, prepositional phrase. Line goes in between farmers and grow. So on this side, we see in sentence 14, the line between weevils and seek. 15, between body and discusses. 16, between badminton and require. 17, line separating complete subject and predicate is between kittens and play. 18, between scientists and perform. 19, between lobsters and crawl. 20, between farmers and grow. Once again, please circle the number 15, circle the number 17, circle the number 19, and then if you would please, put a line underneath the entire sentence. Farmers grow in the summer. Put a line underneath. Because that's where we're stopping for today. Keep this paper in your packet. And tomorrow we will continue. If there are any questions concerning the identification of subjects, predicates, simple or compound or prepositional phrases, please reach out and I'll assist you. Thanks and have a great Monday.